Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Justin and you're watching Texas Toolbox. This is the second video of our QR25 rebuild. And for this video, we are going to go over the procedure for installing the heads and the camshafts. So this motor is a dual overhead cam motor, which means that the camshafts for the exhaust and the intake are in the head of the motor, which is where the combustion chamber cycle happens, while well, the entire four cycle of the motor happens. And right now we are going to go through the uh, torque procedure for the cylinder heads. Now the characteristics of this motor, you can see uh, this is a dual overhead cam. The cams aren't installed right now, but these little chimney looking titanic stacks, those are the spark plug uh, holes. And the coin shaped features that have the assembly lube on them, those are the cam followers, which are these things here. Uh, we're going to get into the next video. You see that? It's a, a unique feature of this, uh, and actually Nissan. Uh, and I think that it'd be very cool to show you guys how to check the valve clearances. And for you motorheads, you know what that means. But for the uninitiated, that is the clearance between the camshaft and the, in a traditional motor, the, the lifter, right? Okay, so in, in these motors, the, the camshaft is rolling right on top of these valve lifters that I just showed you. So uh, there's a special way to check. It's very, very similar to checking regular camshaft lobe. Clearances, but anyway, we're not going to get into that this video. We're just going to keep trucking along here, um, showing you the torque sequence for this. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm the one that made the mistake, but anyway, here, step one was to tighten all the bolts to 72 foot pounds for 2000. 11 and earlier models, which is what this is, it's a 2007 uh, model motor. I'm not really sure why it changed after that. And now we've loosened these all completely up and the reverse order that you see on the screen. Now we're tightening them back to 29 foot pounds. And once we're done with that, we will be moving on. All right. and. Step three is to tighten to 29 foot-pounds in the sequence on the screen. And then we'll go to steps four and five, which is to tighten it an additional 75 degrees. And we use a special tool like this one here called a dial a degree, a degree, a dial degree uh, indicator. So um, as I turn the back of the, you see the tool, the, the indicator stays in one position. <laughs> you see it? As I turn the tool, the indicator stays in one position. And that's how we know that we use an additional 75 degrees. Now, uh, you'll notice that I'm not doing it in this, uh, in this scenario. So the way I kind of got around it is I measured the 75 degrees and marked it uh, on, actually right here in the video now, that's what we're doing. I'm marking it on the head with the Sharpie and I'll go through and I'll tighten each one of these in sequence to an additional 75 degrees using my cheater bar.
Next video, we will go over valve clearance. So once we do have the head installed, right, we will then install the camshafts. And the procedure for installing the camshafts is to apply lube. <laughs> That's the first thing. Oh yeah. And we'll just place them down in and pause for a moment. This is the sequence that you tighten these up in. This will be relevant later in the video. If you need to pause, write these down, copy them if you're doing this, or if you need to remember, that's the order that these uh, get tightened in. There's two rows of them, so you'll notice it's essentially the same for each one, and there's, for one or the other. And you'll notice here on the intake side with the variable valve timing solenoid, which is on the far, um, I would say that's the right of your screen, that uh, we, we have the cams closest to the, to the gear, to the sprocket, facing at nine o'clock. And then on the exhaust side, which just has the sprocket, we have the gears facing at uh, three o'clock. When you put the timing chain on, which will, of course will be in another video, it's not going to be in this one, those need to be facing opposite directions. And we'll go over that in a later video. Here you'll see the cap labeling. When you throw the caps on, they'll be stamped with these letters and numbers. There'll be other stamps and numbers, but these are all the unique stamps and numbers for the caps when we put these on, so that's what we're doing now. We're throwing the caps on, and then we'll just gently snug them with the drill. I have it set on the absolute lowest setting, so that there will be no over-tightening. It says 17 inch pounds, and I don't think that the lowest setting of this is even 17 inch pounds. It might be, so. Uh, in the next video, come back again, watch us. In the meantime, add some tools to your toolbox, even if it's knowledge. And uh, we'll see you on Texas Toolbox next time.